Well, Bob Ross, who is the CEO of Sologenic, has now issued a tweet talking about the ratios that are gonna happen for the Solo tokens being delivered to Solo and XRP holders. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about just what he said and where you can see those numbers. Speaking of Sologenic, the Sologenic development team, which is also developing Corium, the new layer one blockchain, was recently featured in a Forbes article in which they were comparing it to Ethereum. I'm gonna tell you what this Forbes article actually said, because there's now a few things that Mr. Bob Ross should keep in mind when he's tweeting things. I'm gonna tell you what a comparison is, because I'm gonna tell you what Elon Musk did a long time ago that may have gotten him in some trouble. And speaking of more CEOs in the crypto world, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, recently purchased a house in LA. He paid a whopping $133 million for it. I've seen pictures, I've seen videos. Honestly, it doesn't look like it's worth it to me, but hey, if you created a $50 billion company, you can do with the money what you wish. Hey everyone, my name is Randy and welcome back to the Late Night Grind. Right now I'm covering the Ripple versus the SEC case, as well as other cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all those topics interest you, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the Late Night Grind community, and don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so YouTube will send you a notification when I release a new video. And if you wanna support the channel, best thing you can do, smash the thumbs up button and watch this video all the way to the end. Those really are, according to statistics, the best thing you can do to support a YouTube channel. So if you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, let's jump into it. So yes, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, bought a $133 million house out in LA. And I have seen some of the pictures and it does feature amazing things like tennis courts, a huge infinity pool, an incredible view. It's actually four acres in LA, which is basically a gold mine with a view overlooking LA. Now I know that's considered top quality real estate, but $133 million. Do you know how many Bored Ape NFTs you could buy for that? But seriously though, he does have 20% equity in a $50 billion company that he spent the last 10 years creating. So he's gonna do with his money what he wishes. And speaking of CEOs and new crypto companies, Corium, which is the new brainchild of the Sologenic development team, has recently been featured in a Forbes article. And I took a look at this article and it really interested me because of one thing specifically, because it was compared to Ethereum. In fact, several times in the article, it was called the Ethereum killer and how people are labeling it an Ethereum killer. I thought that was kind of odd to mention that several times, but nonetheless, that's what it said. It specifically was going after the gas fees, the transaction fees that are going on on the Ethereum network. It mentioned how over the, just in the past year alone, it's actually exploded over 2,300%, just the transaction fees. Uh, basically went on to say how Corium fixed this. Talks about how Corium has a built-in uh, fee stabilizing mechanism, which Ethereum does not. In fact, it basically works the polar opposite of Ethereum. And it talks about things like its, uh, its ability to transact 7,000 transactions per second, how its, essentially how its carbon footprint is about 99% less than its competitors, specifically Ethereum. And a lot of those talking points sound familiar because that's actually a lot of the talking points that the XRP Ledger and Ripple constantly talk about. And speaking of Ripple, you gotta keep in mind that this new blockchain Corium actually features two former Ripple employees that were product development managers. They're now on the Corium Board of Advisors. Now, a lot of this sounds very good for Corium, including all these airdrops that are gonna give, the, uh, give this blockchain even more exposure. But here's one thing that Bob Ross needs to keep in mind and maybe be a little bit careful about. Because he tweeted out this Forbes article, and as he should, However, he followed that up with, and that he believes that because of all of these uh, essentially selling points, all of these use cases with Corium compared to something like Ethereum, he thinks that the Corium coin will be selling or trading for double digits come airdrop time. Now the first of the airdrops actually happens in January, but he needs to be careful because this is what got Elon Musk in trouble years ago. Years ago, Elon Musk tweeted out that he believes that the Tesla stock was actually was actually trading for much lower than it should be actually valued at. Well, the SEC did not look upon that very kindly. They saw that as manipulation of the price. So they went ahead and sued Tesla and they beat Elon Musk and they beat Tesla. In fact, they forced Elon Musk to step down as CEO and they sued both Tesla and Elon Musk personally for $20 million each for what they called manipulation of the market. So this note would go to Bob Ross. If you're actually watching this, you might wanna tread lightly. Now, I know Sologenic and Corium and yourself are based in Estonia. Their SEC laws might be different from the ones in the US. However, it might be a good idea to steer clear of predicting 
what tokens may or may not sell for in the future, especially as a CEO. You might want to leave that to us YouTubers. Now, what have XRP holders and solo holders been waiting for for, uh, well, a week now? For, uh, well, 11 days now. Well, Bob Ross said on January 25th, Christmas Day, that within seven days, XRP holders and solo holders will be hearing the ratio. Just how much solo tokens will be delivered per solo and per XRP. Well, seven, day, seven days came and went, eight days, nine days, 10 days came and went. I tweeted at them several times. And finally, we have a tweet from Bob Ross earlier today, and here's what he said about the ratios. He said, by the end of today, which is coming up very quickly, and I'm in the United States Eastern Time, assuming it is now the end of day in Estonia. He said they will be giving the finalized ratio numbers for how much solo will be delivered to solo and XRP holders. So, end of day, I don't know when that means. However, I'm gonna be watching for end of day US time. Now, now obviously things can be very fluid. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be monitoring this, and as soon as it comes out, or as soon as I see it, I will be posting those numbers on Twitter. So the best thing to do, and, I, and of course I will be following that up with on my next video, but that likely won't be until tomorrow. So if you wanna see that news quickly, I will post my Twitter profile in the link, uh, in a link in the description below. You can go there and follow me there and be sure to look out for the, any tweets coming from Bob Ross or Sologenic about the airdrop ratios. And there's one more airdrop that I wanted to mention I didn't actually participate in or really make many videos of, but the XFi airdrop that was taking place for XRP holders finally came through. And from what I've been seeing on Twitter, those holding XRP were actually setting up trust lines to get their XFi tokens actually got them today. Some say that it was an accurate airdrop and they got what they expected. Others say it was dramatically less than what they expected. So I don't have any word on what may or may not have gone wrong with that. However, if you were expecting XFi tokens, you might want to go check your accounts because supposedly they should be there. Thanks again for giving this video a big thumbs up for watching all the way to the end. As always, I'll see you guys on the next video.